That's it. It's hump day. That's, it's middle of the week. Middle. That's right. Middle of the week. So excited. Now, let me get this out of the way before I even intro this video. You may hear the kids. You may hear their TV playing. My apologies. All right. Summer break is here. It's going to happen. All right. Uh, look, you don't want to go anywhere. Today is Samurai Hump Day. We're talking about Baragaki Unbroken Samurai. Oh, not to be missed. We'll be right back. <laughs> Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Happy, happy hump day. We're glad you're here. As always, thanks for being here. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's hump day. The week is half over. And that means we're closer than ever to the weekend. <laughs> so, I told you on Monday, I was going to review the two movies I received for my birthday. And that was the plan and last night I was flipping through looking at different shows I was trying to plan ahead looking for something to review next week <laughs> and I ran across Baragaki and and okay to be fair that may not be how you say it and that's okay I'm from Arkansas we've talked about this Baragaki Unbroken Samurai from 2021 and I turned it on just to get a feel for it. See, you know, is this something I want to talk about? <laughs> and two hours and 28 minutes later, I was still sitting there. <laughs> hey, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Down in the description below are uh, links to our, our stuff. If they're not there, because YouTube... Uh, TheNerdyRonin.com. That's where you can find all your nerdy Ronin needs. <laughs> Let's take a look at this, shall we? Oh, man. Sorry. It's still early for me. <laughs> 2021, 2 hours, 20 minutes, Baragaki, Unbroken Samurai. The original title was Moyo Kim? Sure. Uh, now, I will say, this is based on a book by Ryotaro Shiba, Ryotaro Shiba, called Moyo Ken. Because this entire movie is based on a true life character. Now, let's not pretend like things weren't changed to make this more dramatic or more movie friendly or cinema friendly. But, regardless, this is based on historical fact. Set in the 19th century, Moyo Kin follows the life of Toshizo Hijikata. They call him Toshi in the movie, for short. He was the vice commander of the Shinsengumi and fought, fought against the Mihai Restoration. See, this is why... I as much as I love samurai movies, when I'm trying to talk to you about them, <laughs> I can't read. And it's directed by Masato Harada, uh, written by Masato Harada, based on the book by Ryotaro Shiba. Stars, I know the main character is a musician, some famous boy band musician. Not this guy. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's a, there's a, I'm showing it to you right there. That's, that's, uh, I don't know. Anyway. So, let's bring it back. Okay. <laughs> this movie was super interesting. Like, from the beginning, 
I didn't know what it was about, but <sighs> basic history lesson here. This this guy was originally a farmer. He was born into a farming family. <clears throat> And through his acts of service, ends up becoming a samurai. And the Bushido code is so, like, he's so all about that. He reigns with an iron fist over the people beneath him. Uh, if you mess up, seppuku. If you try to run away, seppuku. Steal money, seppuku. Do anything wrong, uh, jail time. No, seppuku. <clears throat> he truly wanted to follow the code of Bushido, which was very important to samurai, the samurai culture as a whole. But in this time period, all right, late eighteen hundreds. It wasn't necessarily followed. Regardless, till the very end, he fought for what he believed in right up to the moment he died. And he did it because he believed in doing what was right for him. His belief systems were strong. And I, I want to read the book. I, I do want to read the book. And I'm hoping a Blu-ray comes out of this. Because, yes, they have it on DVD at the moment. But I want... I want a Blu-ray. I would love a 4K of this. This movie is beautiful. It's beautifully shot. It's really well acted. It's a little confusing in a couple of spots. <clears throat> Especially... Going into this not knowing the history of the Meiji Restoration, or what have you, however you say it. It does its best to explain, but that doesn't mean you can necessarily understand it. So, like after watching it, and as much as I enjoyed it, I did look this man up and look into the true story of him. Because I was super interested and intrigued this movie couldn't be any better acted the characters are great the 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 hand the small hand picked group that you follow throughout the entire movie they're like it does a great bit of world building for them and you like you love these characters you may not always agree with them or like what they do but you love them now nah, it's not like i think my mom is going to go watch this movie. But, just in case. Sorry mom, it's got some boobs in it and a rape scene. Other than that, a lot of a lot of violence as far as, you know, assassinations, fighting, sword fighting specifically, and blood. So, be forewarned. This is not a squeamish, this is not a movie for squeamish people. There were a couple of times I had to cover his squeaky chair's eyes because <clears throat> he was getting upset but overall we love this movie if you're looking for a good samurai movie especially a newer one that does a great job as far as cinematography goes the way it looks the way it's shot the way the the sword fights are done it's just fantastic the change that the character goes through from the beginning as a just a country bumpkin farmer, you know, warrior or martial artist, if you will, that has learned a bit of sword play and his progression as he gets into the big city and becomes a soldier, per se. And to watch the actor change from farmer, country bumpkin to samurai. And it's pretty magnificent. Um, th this is, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Now, I was talking to Bushido this morning. Um, I believe he said he has reviewed this. I'm going to have, I, I've seen all his stuff, but I forget things. So I'm going to have to go back and 
check out his review, and you should as well. But this is on the list. If you're looking for a good samurai movie, this is it. This is not just a hack 'em slash 'em. This is historical fiction, like you know what I'm talking about. They're, they've, they're talking about real people. That doesn't mean it's 100% accurate, but all the brush strokes are there, and it's really well done. So there you go. That's my Hump Day Samurai review of Baragaki Unbroken Samurai. Oh, I need this physical media. <laughs> I loved it. I want to watch it again. But I will say, it, it draws on. Now, 2 hours and 28 minutes. At the 2 hour, 10 minute mark, I was kind of like, is it almost over? Not because I was in a hurry for it to be over with, but like it, I was starting to get wore out sitting there. So, it is longer. It is a bit longer. Two and a half hours. That's That can be a struggle, especially when you're reading subtitles. So, fair warning. Alright, you guys. That's it. We're heading out. We're going to go do an activity with the nerdy kids and the nerdy wife. Which means i got to get this done and in the can. So, hey. As always, we love you and appreciate you for being here. Thank you so much. And I love this movie. And you will too. Especially if you like samurai cinema. So for Michael the Microphone, Bob, squeaky chair in the back. And this big fat samurai loving nerd. <laughs> we'll see you on Friday.